What's up, my beautiful babes? How are you guys doing today? Looking fine as always, honey. Look at you. Look at you. Hi, have you guys checked out my Live Your Extra Life merch yet? <laughs> you should if you haven't yet, because it's like super cute and adorable and like extra AF. I'm here today with another Bleach Fail video. I think it's all of our favorites to watch. It's just great. It's just so tragic and these people are just so helpless and it's it's so much fun to watch. <laughs> so the title of this bleach fail today is Dumbass Fries Beautiful Hair and Ruins It Completely. Not clickbait. Well, sounds right up my alley. <laughs> and this video is by Desert Queen with a K. Okay, stealing my look. Okay, she's the Desert Queen. Well, girl, I'm the Glamour Queen, okay? So we're gonna watch Miss Desert Queen completely ruin her hair. I'm excited. I mean, hopefully it's not too bad. I'm hopefully she can recover from whatever she does to her hair, but let's see what happens. Let's get it started. Hey guys. Hey girl. It's your favorite greasy degenerate here. Greasy <laughs> degenerate? Wondering, why are you looking like an oily hobo? <laughs> those little Me. <laughs> I'm ready. I love this girl. Or bleach on it in over four years. So this is completely a winging it experiment. Perfect. I'm not a hairstylist at all. I'm a 19 year old girl who's lost control of my life. So I'm going to show you what I I love her. She's iconic. Oh great. Like White out four kit. And a half, no, like four years ago I used to bleach my hair often and dye it all sorts of crazy colors. Uh -huh. And the bleach that I swore by then was this. So Never heard of her, but I know I have a shit ton of hair. We'll see so what happens. I don't just have one packet. I actually bought three. I just hope that I can get a break and it will look great. <laughs> so besides that, Uh I don't think so, based on the title of this video. <laughs> Welcome to my bathroom. Hi bathroom. What's up? <laughs> yes. Up. Living for this Tupperware container. Tupperware. Um, so chic. That I have enough. This, this uh, Tupperware is like really widespread, so it doesn't look like I have much, but we'll see, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I read somewhere that you're supposed to start with the ends uh, because the scalp like is warmer, so it hey. is faster. Okay, sister. Okay, sister. <laughs> she knows what she's talking about a little bit. Okay, Let's little research queen. I see you. Never mind, desert queen. She's a research queen. Let's see the technique. How is she going to apply it? What's going to happen? Is that the... Her brush is like a centimeter wide. Oh, here we go. I already going with the hands. Ooh, so much better. Just rub it in. Living for these gloves, too, where they're like a triple X. I'm sure that you're not supposed to do this. <laughs> and I'm sure any hairstylist that could be watching this right now is cringing deeply. <laughs> but come on, man. Just try it. was, okay, I went to places to see how much it would cost to get this done professionally. The cheapest I was quoted because my hair is so heavy and thick was like 100. $100. That's it? Which most likely needed. And the it's nothing. most expensive one that I was quoted was a whopping four hundred and eighty dollars. Yeah. I would have charged more than that. <laughs> so basically if she just went to a salon in the first place and got this done correctly, she would have paid less. I know she's saying that she would have paid more if she got it done in the first place, um, rather than mess it up herself and then get it fixed. But if she went back to me at least and she messed it up it would be, she messed it up and she wanted to get it corrected by me. That would be a color correction, which costs way more money than it would be to just do a double process on her, which is bleaching somebody's hair from a natural color. So basically what I'm saying is that it would have costed her less money to get it done 
professionally in the first place than it would be to get it corrected afterwards. Desert Queen, get it together, girl. Oh yeah, it looks like there's no bleach even on her head. I cannot believe people apply bleach to their heads like this. This is, it's honestly scary. <laughs> like this isn't conditioner. You can't just like plop it on your head. <laughs> um, it looks like your hair's dry. <laughs> I think you're a lot more than a tiny bit short on bleach. Oh. Yes. Oh. Oh. I would be mortified. <laughs> this is what happens when you pull out bleach on the top of your head and mush it through with your hands. You get bleach on the top and then nothing in between and then a little bleach on the bottom and then spottiness on the top and then her roots aren't colored. Girl, this is just a mess. Like, a mess. She's a messy queen right now. And, <laughs> oh. Oh. No. Don't do that at home. Buy a tub of bleach. Like, there's powder in a tub, and you can buy like separate developers for it, and then you can have plenty of it for like ever. It's like 20 bucks, $25 for a big tub of bleach, girl. So, next time, I mean, if you're gonna do it at home anyways, I might, you might as well do it the right way, right? I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> oh, my God. The bottom parts here still really need a lot of bleaching. Ah! Uh, so I've had a client come in to me with hair like this, and it took me, I think, three sessions, and it costed her, three sessions, meaning like, uh, I think it was like six, flat, no, yeah, five hours each session. So it was a 15 hour process to get her um, like a pastel pink, and it costed her a lot of money. Like, over a thousand, more over $2,000. So, yeah, let's not, do this anymore, you guys. Okay. I'm gonna go tomorrow to get some more bleach. It's gonna end up costing you get all of it to, like, the same amount as if you got out of slum buying all this bleach. And I did use the toner. I came with the toner bleach and I did what toner? And is it? Um, it helped a little bit, but there's still a lot more orange than I would like. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> Wait, what? For my second session of trying Why is her hair black? Get a hair color that doesn't look completely horrendous. What? <laughs> and I got two more packs of bleach. I'm so and confused. Third, if I'm like waiting for these two to develop and I notice that it's just not, like it needs a little bit more, my hair might fall out. But Why is she ignoring the fact that her hair is black again? Oh my god, it was a wig. I'm so confused right now. What is happening? What? Okay, it was a wig. False alarm. I was so confused. <laughs> Great. We're just gonna mush it in again. Solid. We didn't learn our lesson the first time, apparently. Oh, yes, Desert Queen. Live, girl. We'll see how this turns out. I'm gonna leave it on for about 45 minutes. And we'll see, we'll girl. See. Don't think it's gonna be good. God, I hope it works. So this is where we're at. It looks like it'll have some darker spots. Um, and I think it's gonna be really good. Oh, fun. no. But I'm thinking maybe when I dye it, that it'll kind of lighten it up, you know? I'm back. The 
Now you're gonna put box dye on it? Since I last was here. And I've given my hair a little bit of a break. This is just like a disaster. Yeah. I'm gonna try it again today. I have three more packs of bleach. Okay, and these boxes must cost at least ten dollars or more. Uh, and she's what? She's gotten like four, eight, nine, ten. I think like ten boxes. Desert Queen, that's $100. You were quoted $160 to get it done professionally. <laughs> I'm confused. Um, and we got, okay, more box ties. So that means she's probably paid at least $130 in box ties so far. So $30 more dollars you could have got it done professionally. This is hopeless at this point. This is a lost cause, Desert Queen. It's a lost so, cause. Pink because this side is just quit. Some things you just quit in life. This is one of them. I wish I knew this was gonna take nine packs of bleach at least <laughs> to get a blonde because I wouldn't have done it if I had known it was gonna be this much. See? <laughs> oh, the top is gonna fall off, girl. That stuff is already over-processed. Why did she put it again on her roots and then still kind of missed her ends again? It's been about an hour and 15 minutes. And to be honest, the ends still look like they're gonna be beige, red, brown. We'll see. I'm gonna wash all this out now. This is the final result. That's a Luke. Okay. Honestly, I'm not that. Uh, she should dye it like blue or, or like... Violet or something at this point. Oh I am now no. Oh no. We're not doing more. She's about to put box dye over her extremely processed hair. Mm, this is where she really went wrong. This is really bad. Oh my god, is that breakage? No. Oh, Lord, is it gummy? Oh, babe. I really, I don't know. Never. The box dye was the really bad idea. Oh, she's so upset. All right, we need to see if there's a video of what it looks like getting it fixed. Hair update, great. Hello everyone, it's me again, and I am ready to finally address Is that her a, a wig or her hair? hair? But she's my wig cap. It is my real hair. I did get a bit Oh, off no. I did get it retoned to sort of neutralize the orange Looks even worse. Yellow. I'm sorry, is that me? <laughs> Oh, you poor thing. Woo! Desert Queen. Babe, that was tragic. <clears throat> and I'm sorry that happened to you, but next time we're gonna stick with the professional, aren't we? But Desert Queen, listen, you keep being a queen, okay? Keep being a queen. And today's Instagram shout out goes to Charlotte. This is her Instagram name, and this is what she looks like. She says, I am naturally mousy brown, dirty blonde. I have my hair stripped of black dye and cut up, cut it off quite short, which I'm gonna keep trimming until the reddish color is out. But I was wondering what tone of blonde highlights would suit me once it's out. I was thinking a dark ash blonde, 
but I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, Gorge. You so pretty, girl. Ooh, girl, you so cute. Um, okay. Liv, I like the length on you. I like that shortcut, V cute. So based on this picture, I, to me, your skin is neutral. So you have both properties of cool and warm skin. So you have like a little bit of yellow in your skin and you also have a little bit of pink in your skin, um, which is awesome. That means you can pretty much wear any color and it'll look good. So <laughs> I think the best option for you though would be to stick with neutral colors. So if you do highlights, I wouldn't make them too, too ashy. I would kind of have a little bit of warmth in there, but not like yellow or anything. That way it'll bring out, you know, more of the yellow in your skin and make you look healthier and more glowy and sun-kissed. So definitely do that, Charlotte. And if you do it, send me a picture. I would love to see it. Make sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed, because you know what? I'm only just getting started here on YouTube and my channel is just gonna get littier and littier and littier, okay? So come join the positivity and come live your extra life with me. It's a great life, really. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Don't forget to live your extra life and I will see you all next time. Peace.